The answer is the third choice. We're only looking for signatures here, so we don't need to encrypt the document. We don't care about confidentiality. So we can send the document in clear, but what we want to send along with it is something that proves that it's the document that Alice intended. To do that, we need to do something that uses Alice's private key. So that's these two options. If we use the public key, well, anyone can do that. The public key could be known to anyone else. We're assuming that the private key is only known to Alice. So the only one who could compute these two things would be Alice. And then we have a choice which one of these two is better. If we believe we can have one-way hash functions that have the collision resistance properties that we talked about, well, then this is much better because the output of the hash function is small fixed size value. It's only for a given security level, it might be 256 bits. And we can encrypt that much more cheaply than if we had to encrypt the whole document using RSA. So that's why this is the best choice. And lots of protocols are based on this kind of solution, where we use RSA to encrypt something small, which could be a hash value. It could be an encryption key. And then we use that with symmetric crypto for the rest of the message.